Happy birthday. You didn't get a present because I wasn't invited. Dot, dot, it's closed surprise part on Keeping Up with the Kardashians season 14 episode 7, but every Kardashian event comes with a little drama, right? This time, it's Scott causing some family drama, which isn't too much of a surprise considering the circumstances. It's both easy and hard to feel for Scott as he attempts to remain a part of the Kardashian clan post Courtney. He doesn't really have a family of his own, at least not one that supports him as their number one. The Kardashian-Jenner family became his family, but when his relationship with Courtney ended, Scott got the short end of the stick. It's sad. He loves them, they're his family, and Courtney is excluding him from family events, no matter the reason. Personally, I don't feel like Scott should have been excluded from Chloe's birthday, even if Courtney didn't want him there. It is his family too, and he's the closest to Chloe out of everyone, so he should have been allowed to be there. I don't often agree with Scott and strike me down with lightning for saying this, but Courtney had no right to keep him away and not even tell him about the party. As he said, it's not like it was her party, it was Chloe's, and Chloe is basically his sister too. Whether Court likes it or not, Scott is a part of that family, and that's her doing. She can't just decide to kick him out after having three kids with him and being in a relationship with him for a decade. That's not how it works. Courtney could not have been more annoying in this episode in general, though. Her positive spiel was a little too much, even for her, and as much as she wants to just vibe on living life, she's a grown ass woman in the public eye. Why does everyone crap on Kim for how she uses her fame and not Courtney? She doesn't necessarily want the attention, but she has it, and she does nothing with it. Like she said at some point this season, she doesn't even read the news. HOW is a 36 year old woman with three kids not staying up to date on the news, and how is she not using her power for some sort of good? As much as anyone wants to hate on the others, at least they, for the most part, do something with their fame. Courtney's living life thing is unnerving, and it's like she needs to grow up again. Every episode, it just seems like she's running away from being an adult, dealing with Scott, and figuring her life out to act like a wild celebrity with a 20-year-old boyfriend. Do what you will, it's your life, but it's irresponsible and kind of pathetic that she's so scared of confronting her problems and letting them fester in her and her kids' lives. And, finally, we got to see the launch of the successful KKW beauty line and appreciate all of Kim's hard work to release it. The controversy with the photos where she was accused of doing blackface being addressed is really one of the things KUTWK thrives on in the days of social media. Whereas 10 years ago social media wasn't a big thing and the show would be able to address things for the first time, controversies are now often addressed right away, but never the full story. The series allows viewers to see the reaction of the girls to the controversy and how that impacts them. It's interesting to see Kim address the launch of her beauty line as the culmination of the last 10 years of her life because of everything she's been through and everything she has done. 
Kim's career has been so dot well, different, and it's nice to see her happy and finally fairly comfortable with where she's at. Plus, it gives way for Kim to use her power to bring attention to things like Planned Parenthood and the overwhelming homeless population which has yet to be discussed this season. After all of this, Kim is definitely still the star of the Kardashian-Jenner family, but let's not forget what each adds to the mix. Would Kim's makeup line have succeeded if Kylie's lip kit hadn't? Have blown up before? That's an intriguing question. As for Chloe, it's just settling to see her happy with Tristan, and her birthday party was definitely a success. But is she pregnant? Just kidding, we'll find out next season on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Don't forget, you can watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians online right here at TV Fanatic.